Welcome back to the channel guys. Let me get you in frame here. So, real quick before we get today's video started. God, this is so hard. Wait, trying to adjust a new camera is a pain in the butt. You're getting the angles right. <sighs> I'm going to have to keep playing with that, I guess. So, anyway, before we get started, make sure you hit that like button. Smash that like button. Subscribe. Turn your post notifications on. That way you know when we post, you will find out first. But this, this wall, I've got to finish it up. I'm not completely done with it. We went cheap. This is temporary. Then I gotta fix this gap, which ain't gonna be hard. I just gotta put another brace in on the backside. Hey, there's the pool table, there's all the bikes. Um, we built this because this is the new podcast area. This wall is going to get painted black. We're going to put some gray tile in there. We've got a big LED sign that has Aftermath written on it. There's going to be two different podcasts coming out of here. Aftermath Garage, Aftermath Life. We'll explain all that later. All the podcast equipment's are here. Been here. I got to get everything all set up. Change some tables around. We, we don't really have that much room. I'm gonna change some lining. Get some better lining. You'll never see the the ceiling. You'll be more like here view, I guess. So we're changing all that up. But I'm gonna flip the screen around here. So what we're about to get into is I feel like I'm forgetting stuff, and I probably am to be honest. New cameras, man. I gotta get used to it. So anyway, we're gonna get out here to the shop. These guys are already out here. Yeah, my boy knows the copyright rule. So, we've got head gasket sitting here, time to belt. And we've got all kinds of stuff. Radiator, horrible, crappy, junky suspension. Jacob's over here explaining stuff to the Brittany. Look at what this boy has done without me. So, we still... Really? Wow. So, grab that straight edge over there. Sorry, dude. Is it warped? I don't think so. Because I'm going to tell you, I don't think it was building any compression because this shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. We've never been dark on any of these. Um, so, I'm curious if that old head gasket never or that new head gasket they supposedly put on never s seated right and we know for a fact that they didn't do nothing to clean this thing up I mean this thing's horrible mm -hmm. this but is where the head was still throwing oil. yeah but you, you clean stuff up man I mean look at how bad these pistons are this one's probably worse than Tristan's was um I'm not going to knock on Felpro at all because, I mean, we've used Felpro quite a bit. Um, they do use a multi-layer head gasket, but what is, what is that mm -hmm. in that? I don't know. That's what I was trying to tell you last night. Look, it's like corrosion all built up on it. Dude, honestly, that looks like a, that head wasn't seated properly. Mm -hmm. Where's the head at? The head's over there. We need to flat edge it. That ain't even right, is it? It's flipped. No, 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 that's right. Hmm. No, that's right. That's dead on right. No, it look right. No, it's 100% right. No, it's not. Uh-uh. 
name should be up. Yeah, what the heck is this? It's got uh, extra stuff going on there. I know there's not much difference, but I'm sorry, guys. I know you're only seeing this. this is, I was busy yesterday putting that wall together, so I didn't get to look at this. But I don't know. I, do, I don't think that's right. the right head gasket. So guys, if you know if there's a difference, I mean, I know there's a little bit of like the only true difference between a Y7 and Y8 is VTEC. So that's nice. It, it should have stayed in the block. So that tells me that they're pretty tight. All right, sorry about showing you Jacob's back here. Let's do this. Guys, I'm going to put y'all down for a second. We'll come back to this. Hold on. All right, guys, so real quick, what we found out, this is the wrong head gasket for this car by far. But what we're going to do today <laughs> is we're going to go ahead and get this engine transmission completely out of the car. Um that way we can really assess damages to the bottom end because I'm curious about pulling the oil pan because you said it's still draining oil. Yeah, there's still oil in it. So, and it sat without the drain plug for probably 30 minutes to an hour. Right. So, so I'm ready. They definitely overfilled it. Probably has a spun bearing is what I guess. They're trying to cover up rod knock. Trying to just float the rods or the rod bearings. A good possibility. Um, oh, and it was filled with water. Probably because there was corrosion in the coolant. They were like, screw it. We'll just flush it, put water in it, Damn. send it. Yeah. Big thing is we're trying to keep it from going to machine shop because it's just going to take too long around here. Yeah. Um, and honestly, if it's anything like the mechanic, well, the parts changers we have in this area because I'm not calling any of them mechanics. Um, the parts changers around here are notorious for half-assing work, which they've done on this. Wrong head gasket, probably wrong head bolts. It's going to yep. be the same thread pitch. Yeah. Well, those are short. They're pretty short. They look short to me. I don't know. I mean, they, they look like... Oh, I, mean, I know the ARP head studs, their head bolts will be longer regardless, but... Right. I mean... Yeah, well, it's time to rebuild an engine. Yeah. You get your actual first rebuild in. Mm -hmm. I get to see your face when you turn it over and it actually starts for the first time. And yeah, that'd be fun. Knowing that satisfaction saying, hey, I, I, I rebuilt that shit. So we're going to get into it. We're probably not going to show too much because I hadn't figured out the time lapse on this camera yet, but we'll get to it eventually. Um, but we'll kind of pop in and out and show you where we're at. But right now, before you... Got it. Right now, we're to the point where uh, all we got to do is pull the shift linkage, or linkages, the wire harness, probably pull the alternator off. We can get to it easily. Um, I don't think there's any more hoses or anything. It's just disconnecting a bunch of sensors and yeah. then... Um, hooking the hoist up. Yeah, hooking the hoist up. Pulling mounts. Undoing mounts and pull the engine out with transmission. So, probably I'm with the axles, maybe if we can get the axles out. I don't know. I'll, I can get the axles out. We'll see because uh, it's a pain. All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna start on popping CV axles out. So we will be back. You got anything else to say? Mm. No, yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you started it. <laughs> yeah. I right, will be right back, guys. Back. All right, so. What we got here, cuz? Oh, I got the engine out. Yeah, now we're starting to take stuff apart. We're gonna oh. tear this thing apart. We're gonna put. He's. You're ripping off the transmission. Good God, I could talk one day. You're tearing off the transmission. We're gonna get the flywheel clutch, all that crap off. Get the block there. We're gonna pull this oil pan. 
check the bottom end, but there you go. Gonna look at a wire tuck soon. Uh, we're gonna keep trucking at this. We'll be back. So what up, dude? So we're Sorry. back. Yeah. Engine's gone. Yeah, it's completely gone. Yeah. So what are we putting in here? It's the Gen 2 or Gen 3 or Gen okay. 4 Coyote. Okay, okay. You wish. Two Jay-Z. No. One Jay-Z. No. RB26. It's way down way too much. <laughs> Come on now. LS? No. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. Maybe. I think on that one. <laughs> it has been done. Yeah. No joke. Of course, you've seen, we, we pulled the engine out. Uh, shoot, I'm going to hold the camera up a little bit more and get you into frame. Yeah. Um, but you've been working. I've been chasing. Some bolts. Some <laughs> bullshit. We'll just put it like that bullshit. So yeah. to get the block. As you can see, a bolt. Yeah. That we tried. The, yeah, it's too long. Yeah, to try to get up on this engine stand is really where we want it. That way we can rotate it back and forth because our other thought is one of the workbenches. Yeah. I cannot find a 12 by 125 about four, four and a half inches long because the transmission bolts are too three short. inches. Yeah, they're too they're, short. Yeah, they're just a hair I don't know, three, too short. three inches. That's, that's quite a bit. I mean, that's... That's a lot. Yeah, I mean, it is, but... That's like a lot, dude. Three inches? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> but, this is the... I think you need to go back to school for this, measurements. <laughs> this is the dirty side. The side that I've yet to finish cleaning up before paint. Yeah, I've, I've, dude, like... I'm not knocking none, none, no Honda guy. No import guy. Because I love my imports, too. You know, yeah. as well as I do. Well, matter of fact, look. Look right here. Like, we got a cup off N1s laying around. Yeah. I've got a Gretty Type S blow-off valve over there for something that I am I am going to do again. Yeah. But I have a feeling that blow-off valve is going to be too That's weak for garbage, it. Yeah. yeah. But, if you know, you know. That's my heart. That's my heart. That's where my heart is. Yeah. What is that? What is that from? From a 4G 63T. Yeah. But it's out of what? Uh, that one actually came off of a Hyundai Elantra. Yeah, Hyundai Elantra. <laughs> the 1.8 Hyundai Elantras back Weird. in the 90s were the 4Gs. They were just a little keyed down. But, yeah, you've seen the dirty side. This is the painted side. I have to put a coat of clear coat on it just for a little bit of protection for the paint. Um, and what's nice is you can actually... See the D16 wagon again. Oh, camera. Yeah. So. Yeah, so uh, I've been doing a lot of miscellaneous random little work to the to the engine, to the car. Off camera, you help me get the engine pulled. Yep. Get the axles out and whatnot. Yeah. Um, yeah, can we talk about axles real quick? Uh, Did you learn how to pull an axle out? No. <laughs> Just call you. That's, that's what I learned. Yeah, just get you full of axles. But there yeah, is so. there is a trick to it. I am not going to see her lie, guys. If you've done it and you think you know how to do it, wait until you get one that you cannot get. Yeah, I, yeah. And then you'll be calling or dropping a comment down below, and like, "Hey, dude, how did you get those axles <laughs> out?" <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to finish up painting this, uh, paint the other side, clean and paint the other side, and then. Uh, Hopefully, we'll find bolts to be able to mount the, the block to the stand, and right. we'll start tearing this thing down um, so we can see what we need to replace, because if the crank is good and the bearings don't look terrible, we might just, you know, resurface them, slap new bearings. It, we don't know yet. We haven't gotten to the bottom end yet, so. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's there. It looks a little rough, a little toasty. I I want mine going all new, but yeah, I I would too. Um, we're trying to go as cheap as possible. Though. Yeah, keep that in mind. This is the budget Shitvik build. Yes, because I don't want to put you know five ten grand in this car and just a few months to try to get it going. I want to get it going so I can start figuring out little kinks and 
different things that I need to work on and fix. And yeah, because how much was a gallon of paint? It was like three fifty for a gallon of paint. Yeah, it's not much. And we got to wet sand. Wet sand. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the hood, the fenders, removed. the front bumper. Yeah. We got to get this prepped. We got to get the Wait. rest of the car prepped. Wait, this is legit. I mean, everything is coming out. Like, even this power rack, you're going with a manual rack. Yeah, I've already got the power steering pulled and out of the way. For the most part, I need to pull some lines and whatnot. But, yeah, we're going manual power steering rack. I'm going to look at a full front end rebuild kit. Um, just kind of stock OE suspension just to get it back to you know a drivable state because all the bushings and stuff on the except for struts yeah yeah I'm gonna go coilovers for super cheap like 300 bucks eventually I'll get you know a more name brand and a more adjustable set of coilovers in yeah. the future when I need them because right now with this we're just doing a stock OE build um, I'm not gonna be putting any power down it's gonna be stock power 127 or 120 horsepower to right. the crank uh this it, thing isn't going to be fast i just want to get <clears throat> i just want to get it to where it's reliable enough to where i can drive it as a daily car right and there's a daily um and get it looking nice i mean I, come on now i do want to make a comment real quick guys if anybody caught caught this in any of the videos yes the battery is completely hooked up but we have had this car in the shop for seven or eight months now yeah for a while that battery is probably dead oh it's completely dead yeah it doesn't matter yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's plugged up or not no which we gotta go through and make sure everything's good i don't even know if i'm gonna buy a new wire harness like a wire tuck kit probably will because the wire tuck kits are for the b16 and the d16 yeah so it'll look good yeah it'll look good i'll and, be able to swap and have all new connectors and whatnot right and, it'll and be great. you hinted b16 so, hey, don't mind the uh, oh, a rocket, a rocket ship. Hey, don't mind all the body work we need to do. Yeah, I like so a lot of this stuff is going to be pretty, pretty well clean, cleanable. Like we got the front bumper here, fenders, got headlights. Like I said a million times, tail lights. You've got a SI style ish grill. Yeah, just That's, like a blank grill. Yeah, we're gonna tape off all this here. Paint it paint, to match. Yeah, paint match it and then clear a, all of it yeah, at one time. Yeah, just a very basic Civic build. Um, yeah. It's not, it's not going to be too crazy yet. And the reason I say yet is, you know, I want to drive the car. Yeah. Yes, that's. I just want to drive the car. You well, know, like, and you know, and it's good. Like we we can tell you exactly what happened, but. This is the crap that we bought for fifteen hundred bucks. Is a B sixteen A one out of an SI Civic. Yes. We've got axles. We've got transmission. We've got PCM. We've got oil pan. We've got it all. Crank. Yeah. But. But. We pulled the head apart. She looks nasty, and we can't find parts for the head. But. Yeah. Well, we can find parts that are performance oriented which makes the build a lot more expensive. And yep. initially I just wanted to do a basic SI clone, stock power, you know, 150 horsepower, whatever. Uh, but, but we now, can't find any like OE stock parts. <laughs> right. It really anything. I and mean, it's going to be cheaper to build the D16 back yeah. to OE. Yeah. Just get so, the car going. So I can, so I can kind of figure out like the suspension, wheel, tire setup, uh, eventually, probably swap to five lug in the future. Um, get like you know, the interior all nice and you know new radio seats, like racing seats, uh, yeah. steering wheel, and just I'm the main be, things. I'm gonna be honest with you. I paid over a grand for my Corbo. Mm -hmm. I want to say Remy's were like seven or eight hundred. No. Five or six hundred. Yeah, I'm not like going that. that expensive. There's no point. Well, those things are comfortable. It's, it's the same. It's almost the same seat we're going to put in Project Fox or Papa Smurf. Um, yeah, I'm probably just going to go like an NRG cheapy boy. I'm sure it probably won't last, but a few years. But I mean, hopefully within a few know. years, uh, 
I'll need a proper race seat. Right. And because explain the car, because here's the thing. This car is being built for something very specific. It is being built to whoop a crew of Mustangs asses on the dragon. And I am one of them. And yeah. I'm okay with it. Yeah, so the the main idea with the build isn't to go as fast as possible in a straight line. I could care less how much power you're putting down. I, I don't care. Driving in a straight line, yeah, if you're pushing 2,000 horsepower, it takes skill. Don't yep. hold on to that. But I don't care to build 600 horsepower and put a drag pack on a Civic and smoke everybody. It's yep. been done thousands of times. I don't care. I want to be able to keep up with any car on the Dragon. Yep. That's my goal. Hence the humongous sway bars in the future. Yeah. Because, yeah, so. like, like you said, it's get that running back in the car. Yep. Get the car running, get the suspension honed in, get everything dialed in that regard. Like yep. I said, wheel, tire set up, the suspension I'm going to run, um, any weight reduction I want to do, which there's really nothing I can do. It's a freaking Civic. It weighs nothing. That's why right. I want one. Yep. Um, but once we get, you know, the traction side of everything sorted, that's when I'm going to start building the B16. I don't know if I'm going to go turbo. I don't know if I'm going to turbo the D16. Once I get the B16 ready, I might slap a turbo on the D16 <laughs> just to send it flying, you know? <laughs> but... You never blew a transmission or an engine up. You blew a trans two transmissions up. Yeah, yeah but so. there was actually you grenaded one, but it was Ford's fault. Yeah, Our dealership's sure. stupid. Yeah, so it's going to be not necessarily a track car. It's going to be more of a daily sporty. You know, can take it on some back roads and have tons of fun type of type of car. So. Like I said, I'm not looking for 600 horsepower. I'm looking for a nice, reliable 200 plus. I mean, up to three, maybe four, depending on how strong we build the B16. Yeah. But I would be completely happy with 200 horsepower. Hell yeah. I mean, 200s. The thing is super light. That's terrifying. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't want over 300. That's what, kind of the range. What do I always preach? What, power to weight ratio? Yep. Yeah. Power to weight ratio. Yep. That is so. that is the main key because you can have a thousand wheel horsepower car in weight. Well, let's go. Let's go your Hellcats. Yeah. Were they 42, 43, 4400 pounds? Yeah, they're happy. You got a thousand horsepower. You start dividing that by I forgot what it was. Me and JT sat around and did the math one day. Hmm. You could be at a thousand wheel horsepower. But because of your weight, you're actually only at like five, six, seven hundred horsepower. You you can't compete against a car that's six hundred horsepower that weighs twenty five hundred pounds. Yeah, now you're gonna get smoked. Now, you take into consideration traction and gear ratios and things like that. You know, Hellcats are great for mile drag racing because yep. they have very long gears, and you know, once you get them going, they just keep going and keep yep. eating. Now, like a Basic B16 transmission. That thing's probably going to run about the 150, maybe. Right. If that. But. I will say this. Hellcat owner nightmares. A Gen 3 10R80 10 speed Mustang supercharged. Yep. With about yeah. seven, 800 horsepower. You're not getting away from them, dude. They're going to pass you. So. Yeah. But like I said. Um, I don't Hell, care. I don't care for straight line. Four or 500 horsepower in this, in this thing. And I think, what is it, like 20, 2,400 pounds? Yeah. 26. 26, 26 something, something, like that. something like that. Yeah. So you're talking, that's one hell of a run. Yeah, it's taking your car to Gapplebee's all yeah. day. All day. Now, one car won't take the Gapplebee's when it's done. What? The Fox? Yeah. Okay, we'll see. Well, well, you gotta I'll remember. have to turn it up for that one. We'll see. Yeah, well, that's cool. I mean, it's going to be N.A., but I think Mama says... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Throw a boost at it. It doesn't matter. It'll be as long as it can handle in the corners. 
Oh, that's the whole reason I'm building that bad boy. Mm-hmm. We'll see. I got to get we'll in touch see. with uh, <laughs> Mr. Hicks, Hick, Hickhouse Videos and find out uh, once again where he got his front coilover suspension for that mm-hmm. Fox body. Yeah. But yeah, so the Civic is going to be strictly for curvy roads. That's it. Ooh, I got one for you. It's not gonna, Don't expect, you know, what is it, Boosted Boys? Yeah, no. You know, like, ain't doing nothing like K-Swap that. MR2, that kind of stuff. I'm not looking for straight line power. Yeah, speed. and here, hold this for a second, because I, I want to explain something to people here. I know when we first started this channel three years ago, three and a half years ago, almost four now, we, like, my mindset was we want to teach people how to do stuff. We're not like that no more. No. Like, we're just dragging you along in an afternoon with Aftermath Garage. Yeah, man. I mean, it's it's simple. There are way too many videos out there on YouTube to show you how to pull an engine out of the Civic. Yep. We'll show you bits and pieces of it while we're, while we're ripping apart. Sometimes I'll throw, like, with the GoPro, i got to figure out how to do it with the new camera, but... I throw you on like time lapse, but I'm over that. I mean, we'll probably still do it just to add some content to the videos, but I mean, some stuff. I mean, it's just uh, most of the time it's all broken up, so it's kind of yeah. hard to keep track of. But yeah, and I just we'll find our niche. I don't have the time or the the time in a day right now to be able to. Take away and do step by step on how to replace an intake manifold. No, it's or, it's a waste of time. Yeah, you know, we've got enough of stuff out there. Here, people like Chris Fix is out there. So Here, flip your camera. I'm gonna start painting. Oh, you gonna paint? Yeah. Here, go. Let's see. <laughs> now, we do have ponies and smokies coming up, so. For all y'all out there, see, because the screen's flipped, it messes me up so bad. Like, I do not know. There we go. Right there. Ponies and Smokies are going are gonna to be daily, daily vlogs uh, all week. So, you're going get, to get those starting in March. Oh, I bet we're going to get a bunch of hate on technique. No, I do not care. Leave me alone. <laughs> there are so many nicks and crannies on this thing. You remember when we replaced the old pan on the, on the, your Ultima SR mm -hmm. with the VQ? Somebody commented about spraying brake cleaner on the engine is going to eat the gasket away. What? Yeah, I'm like... What are you talking about? Yeah, maybe over time. Who cares? I don't have the car anymore. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and that's another thing with us. is like a lot of the stuff that we do, we don't keep the cars. I mean, it's like, yeah, Cliff is still here because Cliff is my car. Uh, God, dog it. Look, see, look, watch. I cannot. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I cannot get myself in frame right. So this, this is a new camera. Like I said, new camera. And for whatever reason, the freaking screen flipped. So if anybody knows the ZV... Oh, God, what camera is this? I do not know. ZV E10. If you had your screen flip upside down, and everything you do, it will not let you reset that, let me know. Oh, you know what? I do need to explain something here. I don't know if anybody's caught it yet, which is probably a big blur over your head oh i'm in the way <laughs> it is a big blur yeah oh actually no there it goes yeah that's how it affects yeah so funny story about this sign this was ordered Here. to be on the podcast set right the the, the wall i showed y'all earlier in this video it was it was ordered for that And it said it was delivered last Tuesday. So, like, like I told you, I had a deviated septum surgery two weeks ago. 
probably about the time this video goes out, about a month ago. Yeah. Um, that Tuesday, we got batteries in for this, this little selfie stick, and this, this was supposed to have been delivered. It said it was delivered. Well, your mom, my, my wife, Stacy, went got her hair done. When she came back, there was only one package. So I waited till late Wednesday afternoon, got in touch with Amazon, because of course, why not? Told them this wasn't delivered, so that actually got refunded. And it magically showed up today, which is Wednesday, February 21st. Out of nowhere. So now we've got another one ordered that is 36 inches long. Oh, wait, hold on. 36 inches long. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, somewhere in there. For the podcast set. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's another thing coming. Aftermath Garage Podcast, yeah, they're, they're going to start hitting the channel probably within the next month. i got to get all the bugs worked out before we even start dropping stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah, we'll probably do some test runs and yep. just figure it out, get it set up, yep, and then uh, we'll start cranking some podcasts because... Oh, I don't know how many times I've come over and we've sat and talked about random crap for hours that yeah. we could just sit and record yeah. and post as exactly. a podcast because why not? That's pretty much what people, you know, enjoy watching nowadays. Yeah. So we're going to get into the podcast, back into the podcast game. And I know the last ones that we have on the channel back years ago, three years ago, they were here in the shop at first and then we did a crappy set inside. But now we're trying to step up a little bit with a temporary set. So you're going to, like I said, you're going to have Aftermath Garage and then you're going to have Aftermath Life, which is going to be another brand new channel that me and my wife are going to be doing. And that's about mental health awareness. Yeah. Kind of. Well, just life in general. Yeah. It's not just Cause one it's, thing. And that's why it's called Aftermath Life. It's just going to be conversations about everything everything that's the reason why the sign is only aftermath yeah we branded ourselves as dream dream big co or dream big company um but for these it's going to be you know we're dream dream big co or dream big productions dream big co for later down the road when we start selling those oh those shirts it's gonna have yeah man there you go <laughs> uh those shirts, Aftermath Guard shirts, I, I, you know, everything. Everything's going to eventually come into play. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, man. I just want to say thank you for everybody that is still watching, if you're watching, because we love, well, I love to ramble. Yeah. Yeah, well, you're, you're just as bad as me sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you are. <laughs> <laughs> uh Check us out. We'll, we'll definitely let you know when, when the uh, podcast, well, obviously you'll see the podcast if you are subscribed to the channel. So, hit that subscribe button. Turn your post notifications on. That way you know when I post a video. Do you think I need to come over there? Like, just reach through the TV? Yeah, you. The one with the blue hat on. Subscribe. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's all you got to do. <laughs> Don't forget the bell. Oh, and give us a like, too. Help us grow, man, because I'm telling you, the more we grow, the more I want to give back to y'all. So let's get this going. And if you're new here, thank you. We'd love to end it this way. Guys, we love you. And remember, dream big. See you next week. Oops. What the hell? Oh, sorry. Dude, I'm sorry. I didn't see you standing there. Dude, I'm busy. Busy what? Looking at the paint dry? Yeah. Smells pretty good in here. Yeah, I am getting a little woozy. Yeah, me too. Um.
Yeah, maybe we need to go outside. Yeah, probably. Okay. Wait, look. Wait, what? What was what was that? What was that? What's that right there? Hey, don't touch it. What? Don't touch what? Don't don't touch the damn paint. Come on, dude. Like I'm look, look. Just, no, back up, dude. <laughs> You gotta watch it, not touch it. Oh, okay. From afar. But it's so much nicer from up close. You're no fun. I'm about 10 feet away right now. You see how far I am? Yep, that's about 10 feet. Stay this far. 10 feet. What is that, about an inch and a half? Yeah, something like that. Oh, okay. This paint's my whoever, can, whoever complained about an inch and a half, I just don't I get don't it. I don't know. Oh well. Alright. We're out. See you guys. See ya.